Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at a brand new app from uh, Phil Atkin, Omni. Omni, you know the guy who brought us the M3000 Mellotron, M3000 Ultimate Edition, Soprano Tron, Jordan Tron, all those. Uh, this is from him. Now, this is the first in a series of organs, okay? And it's the this is the Victorian Chapel organ. Before I start to play this, uh, I just want to say, I asked Phil a little bit about this because he doesn't live far from here. He only lives up the road, basically. But it, it, it's the first organ in the series, okay? So the next one, uh, which is planned, is to be a replica of a much, much bigger organ. And it's the one that's located in the church at St. Justin Roseland, uh, which is near St. Moore's here in Cornwall. And it's the church that uh, Sir John Betjeman described as the most beautiful church in England. OK, now the other thing is as well, although right now this does not have audio bus or interapp audio or, or AU. Um, <clears throat> Phil is working on audio bus for this and for all the subsequent organs that are going to follow this. What is also remarkable. So this is based on basically in this version based on keyboard players or organists who want to take their MIDI controller to uh, their church or their place of worship or wherever and, and get the thing. The th the amazing, amazing thing about this organ is it's 12.3 meg total. Total, it's all synthesized. So I'm going to play through a few things. Now, these along the bottom, I don't know if you can see, these are the pistons. Let me just adjust my mic a little bit better. These are, oh, hello. These are the pistons, right? So the pistons can be programmed to your drum pads. I'll show you how to do that as well. And also, you can program in different different sounds different things like this so for instance this one here is that if you have swell out swell to great it's controlled by the your pitch bend uh, yeah your modulation but you can switch that off you can still but if I was to select another one which is blank you'll see all my stops are pushed in so if we were to set another one up, so let's do this one. And I'm just going to add a few more bits and pieces, say a couple of principles there, and core anglais, and a sub octave. To program it is really, really simple. You hit program here, you hit the piston you want to sign it to, and you hit it again, it will flash and it's done. So this one is... This last stop here, I programmed full on everything. That might be a bit loud, hang on.
The thing's fantastic. And it's a, it's a real joy to play. Forgetting how to program it. Hang on. What is it now? Let's see. Out, out, out. Let me select blank here. Don't want one of those selected. Want to just add the swell. They're great. So press program, then this, then this again. That's it. Just programmed in me big massive full ones. <laughs> right. Now, to assign your pads here, let's see if I've got this right. <clears throat> Uh, select the first pad, hold program down for a few seconds, lights will start to flash, and then you just, this is brilliant, this is, this is so cool. Done. So. They should be blank, blank, and then full. So another couple of things before I go. Settings here it takes you to the actual settings, and here you have control over all sorts of stuff, MIDI-wise, and then the, the tone. So now we've changed the settings. If you were actually at your chapel or your church,
So there you go, guys. A look at quick look at Victorian chapel organs, some of the cool things you can do. Uh, you'll agree it sounds... I mean, it sounds amazing anyway, but for 12.3 meg, come on. I like the programming of the Pistons thing. That's super quick. So if your MIDI controller did actually fail mid-gig sort of thing, if you, as long as you've got a spare, it's so quick to set up the actual pads again to swap out the Pistons. And uh, you saw how... how, how Pretty straightforward it is to program. So once they're programmed, it's in. If you close it, how you open out your program still exists. Don't forget, Phil is working on audio bus and stuff like that. But, you know, for the price, this is an incredible thing. And for the size, it's amazingly good. And it has a beautiful, beautiful tone as well. It's, it's like almost flawless, you know. Lovely jabbly. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, give the video a thumbs up. I'll put links in the description for Victorian Chapel Organ. I think you'll be surprised at the price as well. It's uh, it's very, very reasonable. And uh, good time to support the developers and stuff, you know. So buy the app if you like it. Um, subscribe to the channel, etc., uh, etc. Et you, you guys know, know the crack. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Brilliant.